Hi everyone! Today I thought I would share with you what it's like when I am playing in one of my art journals or glue books or yeah these are called all sorts of things. This I call this my color glue book slash journal. Um, I don't know if I'll actually get any journaling done in this in terms of writing, you know, personal feelings or anything like that. I don't know. What I thought I'd be doing with this book, and I've, I've had this book for several years. It's a book that I purchased at Dollar Tree. And I bought it because I liked the size. And I thought... The, I didn't buy it for the subject, although uh, I did read a lot of what was in here because uh, that, well, that's how I am. I'll just read. But this book is a book uh, about decorating and it's about, uh, I can't remember exactly what it's about, but I, I did read a lot of things on there. There's a lot, there's like a section on lighting, a section on working with wallpapers, etc., etc., and uh, working with uh, how to use art, how to express uh, your culture, and things like that. So there's a lot of, uh, there was some interesting stuff in here, but I really bought this because I wanted to alter this book, and that was my, my whole thinking. So what I did with this book is that I started simply by painting out the words. I just went through the book and I do use wax paper to put between the pages so I don't get too much I don't I try not to get paint on the pages uh, in between the pages. So like this page here had a lot of writing and was this was the resource page. And I just covered it with color, with paint. And uh, the paints I used for this were, I think these were all craft paints the, in the craft bottles that we, we can buy inexpensively. There, are, there may have been some higher quality paints used at some point just because I had paint left over from a project and I decided to use it in here. So, how I decided to pick the colors that I picked, I just went with whatever colors are being used in the book as is, and I'm adding to them. So, in this example, this was all white with a black print, and... I looked at this page and I was inspired by the green here in the door and I decided to paint this part in green. And the same goes for a lot of pages. I just used gesso or white paint because there were a lot of colors. And that's how I did the whole book. Here you can see I did two colors because they're, those were the dominant colors. And yeah, I just went through the book painting, painting out all the print and all the words. And then I went back in, I had a ton of paint chips and this was part of using up stuff that I've been collecting. And I've, I had a lot of paint chips, and I still do, <laughs> paint chips that I've gotten from hardware stores. And I have paint chips in here that go back 20 years because of all the home decorating and renovations that we've done. We just accumulated a lot of paint chips, and I would always pick up extras because I've always been very creative, very crafty, and I would, I've always done things with paint chips that weren't just for uh, matching wall paint color <laughs> so um <clears throat> i decided to use a lot of the paint chips in here because this was going to be my color book and i did i there's a, there's paint chips in here and then i started adding 
uh, pictures and pictures that I got out of magazines. Things that I, and these are really like leftover bits from my cutting up magazines to collect images for collage work. So a lot of this in this book especially is um, leftover paint, leftover chip paint, uh, uh, paint chips, paint chips, and leftover scraps of magazine cuttings. So, and today I started going into one of my boxes where I have, I'll show you my box. This is just a box that I have here with a lot of fussy cut images. And I didn't pull out a lot from here because um, it, it just didn't, didn't feel right. But I have another box <clears throat> that I have what are square images. Things that going through a magazine I thought were interesting. Uh, but I didn't want to fussy cut because I wasn't sure what part I could use or I was in a hurry and it was just easier to cut uh, straight lines than to fussy cut. So I have these boxes, plus I have, <laughs> I have a lot more collage uh, material in folders. But today I was focusing on, <clears throat> on these. So I am sharing today with you how I play in this book and how it's coming together. I don't know if this will ever be finished and I don't have a set schedule. This is just playing. This is just having fun. And it's really about learning about colors, uh, color combinations, uh, practicing how to add color to pages. Um, so yeah, it's, it's play, it's practice, it's experimenting, and uh, maybe it'll end up being artful. And it's just a way to have fun. But I, I put a lot of thought, I always put a lot of thought into what I'm doing. So here, for example, in this, this spread here, this page was uh, white with black print. And I was inspired by the colors on this page where there is some pinks, a little like, like coral color, like a pale red. Of course, there's white and there's some blues. And the tones are kind of cool and muted. So uh, that's what I did here, that the colors of the paint I added. And I had these paint chips that I thought were pretty good match to the colors here. So here I just cut off some little uh, squares from a long paint chip. Here I added half a strip of a paint uh, paint chips with the, the names of the colors. And I think it's fun to read sometimes the, the names that a paint color is given by the different companies. And uh, it's, it's, I just think it's fun to read them. Like this one is Sunday Sonata. See, and this is a very light blue, but they call it Sunday Sonata. Or this one is Cotton Candy. And this one is Cupcake Pink. Um, I think that's fun. And to me here, there's some roller skates. So I just, to me, it, it, it's, it just seems that this all goes together. It's kind of fun. And in my box of cutout images from magazines, magazines um, and also junk mails, mailers, flyers, uh, there might be some book images. I don't know if I, I, I picked any of those, but uh, yeah, like this, oh, this came from a flyer. I know that. And I just thought the colors went together. And this picture here also, I was just drawn by the colors and I'll not sure what I'll do but I see this maybe going here so 
that's what I do. And on this page, I had made this part all white with gesso. And I had these big paint chips. And I decided to cut off just where they have the name of the color. And I just glued these here because I thought they were very close to all the colors in the pictures here. And then in a magazine, there was this ad. It's actually an ad for Tylenol, but the red is just like, it's almost perfect. And there's some white. So I just thought this would be a nice composition here. So I picked that. Here is a page that I white it all out. The opposite page um, is a very light in color. And then I came across this image of a studio, uh, an artist studio. And this was, oh, this was an Ottawa Home magazine. And yeah, I thought, hmm. I like it. It's very, it's a very white space, but there's a lot of color. And I just thought that went with my theme of color. And of course the little doggy's cute. So maybe they'll go here. This page, I was influenced by the orange and pink. And I went crazy with oranges and pinks in the paint. And I had these fun paint chips and I just went to town with uh, a border punch that I have, an old paper punch by, I think it might be a Fiskars uh, border punch, and that's how I got this edge on the paint chip. And I repeated that on two other pieces of paint chips and glued them down there. Maybe I'll add some more image edges to this at some point. I don't know. Maybe I'll come back with a stencil and do some geometric shapes because of this pillow here. That might be a fun thing to do. Here on this double page spread, the lamps, these are hanging lamps, or hanging lamp uh, light fixtures. And the colors of the lamps here, there's like some beige and brass and grayish, bluish grays. And that's what I repeated here with my paint to cover all the text that was here. And then I had this paint chip and I thought, hmm, these, these kind of go well together. Maybe I'll do something here with this. Maybe I'll create a pocket or a flap or I'll just glue it down or I'll cut this up and or punch out some shapes maybe and, and glue it on here. Uh, here again I have a I came across this picture uh, in a magazine and it's very similar to I think it's a rug it looks like it could have been the rug in a, a picture of a rug in a magazine and it just it's so close to it's to this one in the book and I thought oh maybe that can go there and I have this paint chip with this interesting range of oranges and burnt umber oh well, I thought hmm might go so that is there so you can and I have more paint chips here and I will tell you I can't tell you the date on these some of these oh this one's from 2012 probably just give you an idea some of this stuff has been around for a while and that's how I go through the whole book I'm going through the whole book here's another image I got this is an image out of a magazine I have a feeling this is probably a real simple magazine and it's the colors in the images here I thought on the, in the image, I thought it would go well with this, with the paint chip. And on this paint chip, I decided to peel back, to peel off the cardboard backing 
to try to make it thinner so it would make my book less bulky and I might do that with the rest of the paint chips that have not been glued in. Uh, here's another paint chip. You can see I cut it. No, it wasn't cut. Was it cut? I think I did cut it. I cut off the names. I may have had to use it for something else. Uh, so I have this to put here. I, I put orange here and I think it was because I had orange paint left from a project. Oh, from this. And I just went over here and I thought it would match this. It doesn't really match, but maybe I'll cover this whole page. So, but maybe I'll add this. Here's some paint chips that I put in here because I these colors are here and that my eye was drawn to that and I just thought this these were interesting colors to put together. Here, the painting in this picture inspired me to pull out these paint chips because the colors in these pictures I find are represented in the paint chips. And it's an interesting contrast too. So, but it works, it works. So I might not in, might have not have thought, I might have not have thought of using these colors together in, a, in any kind of project, but seeing, seeing them here and with the paint chips, it's inspiring. It's inspiring to, to, to do something with this. And when I look at these colors, I'm thinking tropical beach. I'm thinking, you know, the bright sunshine, the turquoise water of the, of the ocean, the corals of the, the coral colors of the, the reefs and the seashells. So if nothing else that this book will do for me is just inspire color combinations. I'm fine with that. Here's an interesting image from another magazine. Again, the colors. I'm just going with color on this. And if I happen to make, find some interesting images that are, are cute or make a story, great. But I am not Pressure, I'm not like under pressure to achieve uh, an end result to have like a finished page that has a quote and that has a meaning and all that. This is about playing with color and finding color combinations and gluing it down. So this is my art journal color glue book and this is how I go about playing in it and how I learn a lot about color combinations. And I just practice. This one, I came across these fun uh, images in magazines. So, this is from um, a bulb catalog. This is from a calendar. This is, this was from a decorating magazine. This was also a magazine. I don't know which one, but it had these pieces of art and I just thought the colors went well with the colors here. And this is another little piece of a bigger piece of art, but it was a scrap left over from cutting another image. Here again, there's flowers from that same um, bulb catalog. Um, and I think I will be putting this together. I hope that this is inspiring for you to play. Uh, sometimes we need, we, a lot of the times, I'm trying to say is a lot of time is spent, a, a lot of my time is spent 
um, exploring, playing, experimenting, and practicing. And I haven't made a lot of videos about that because I don't think it would be interesting <laughs> to you to see me play like that, but maybe it is. So I'm putting it out there today. Uh, this is something, one of the things that I do, because I know some people have asked me, well, what do you do with all the craft supplies that you have? And I do a lot. I use my stuff. I use my supplies in a lot of work. I, I have to be, I've had to be very productive in my work work and produce specific um, results for various publishers and companies. And when I have some, I, I'm, I have a deadline and an expected project, ex an ex expected result for, uh, for work, uh, that's, that's one thing that I do. But a lot of what I do on my own time is playing with the supplies and getting inspiration, which does help me <laughs> in my design work <laughs> oh goodness so uh that is why i'm sharing this with you today i just want to share that i just want to, to explain to people that uh, we don't always have to have a finished project at the end of playing with our supplies a lot of what is important in being a creative person is to try things and it's to show up at your desk, your easel, your wherever, your notebook and just try. You cannot appreciate and understand how color, design, lines, composition, works if you do not practice it so that is it's a lot of practice there's a lot more practice that goes on than there are uh, end projects created the yeah so there's a, just a lot of practice it's just like anything else just like an, an athlete for example an athlete will practice 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 but we'll, we may only hear about this, this, this athlete if they win a race, right? Uh, and that's a lot what happens in art. You may not realize that a person is very creative and they make a lot of art until they have some sort of success and they have made money from one of their creations. But for every creation that an that an artist or a designer has, or for every race an athlete has won, there is so much practice, so much preparation. There's so much trial and error uh, before that. And this is one of those things. So I, I hope this is inspiring for someone out there. If it's not, this is not your thing, you, we're looking for a how to do this project and have the everything explained from A to Z. Sorry. <laughs> this is an ongoing project for me. This is something I'm playing in and I'm having fun. And I encourage you to try it too. Um, and I'm hoping that my flipping through the pages here, you're seeing stuff and you're saying, oh, that gives me an idea. I've got paint chips in my stash and maybe I could do something like that. Or, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this paint chip and I'm telling you, you know, this paint chip, maybe I'll decide to die cut an elephant out of it just because there's elephants in this picture here. And that might be fun to die cut an elephant in here and have an orange elephant. I don't know, it might be fun to do that. Who knows? So, yeah, this is really thinking outside the box, literally thinking outside the book. And this is one of my art journals. This one is my color glue book 
slash journal. And I hope I've inspired you. And please, uh, I hope you'll give this video a like, a thumbs up. Please comment, share, subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye.